Good morning. Hey, y'all. How are y'all doing today? So it is morning here for me. Um, I just wanted to get on right quick before I head to work and share some of my almond grooming books with you, some of my crochet books with you. Um, yeah, so I had to keep track of my time. So I'm not late for work or late, later than normal. So if you seen my Instagram post, um, I was actually going through all of my Ami Groomy books for my next project and tried to work on some things that some of my grandkids have asked for Christmas. Um, so I just had a stack on the bed, just looking through. It's been a while since I looked through them and it's like all of a sudden I want to make everything. But I do have some books I have not made out of. I do have some books that I've made more than one project out of that book. I do have some favorites. But let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, by the way, y'all, welcome. <laughs> My name is Marcia with Mimi Makes Keepsakes. I'm happy that you're here. So thank y'all for joining along with me. Come on in, make yourself at home and let's go over this book review. Um, I may not do an in-depth book review. I might show you all the pages, but just show you what I got and what I've enjoyed about each one and what I look forward to making in the ones I haven't made anything out of yet. So it all started with this little Lyle the Crocodile. Every time my grandson comes over, he's like, Mimi, can I take this one home? And I'm like, no, baby. I said, but it's yours. You can play with it while you're here. Because <laughs> this was done with Broco Vintage Yarn. And it was not, the pattern's easy. But working with this yarn was not a good I mean, groomy choice at the time. And But when I made him, I'm like, he's Lyle. So he didn't get the shirt or the party hat. But he did get his little scarf. So, but Christmas is coming up. And I'm, I'm thinking... I just finished my green sweater. I'll share that with y'all in another video. I have this green yarn left over and I'm like, I'm making little buddy a crocodile. He said he wants a blue dragon, but I also know he enjoys this crocodile. So that came me, started me down the rabbit hole of looking through all of my Ami Groomy books. And I hope I have them all gathered up and not have some, let me see if I can sit back here. stay. So I hope I have them all gathered up. I may have a few stuck in a um, couple of project bags, but I don't think so. I think I have them all in one spot. So let's go ahead and start with Animal Friends of Pika Pal that Lyle the Crocodile came from. A lot of y'all know this is a book loved by many. I've made the frog. And I'll try and post pictures as I mention each one that I've made. And of course, you know, if you've been with me or if you um, are just joining me, I do a little bell chime anytime I add pictures in case you just don't want to <laughs> like look at my face while I'm talking the whole time. But I've done the frog and... The Rhino, both of these have gone to my grandson. He loves these. The Rhino, I did, I got a little Barbie camera and he was like a safari photographer. That was his story. And he was always in search for the most amazing um, wildlife to take photos of. And I'll add a picture of that because when I took him outside to take photos, actually not my cat, the neighbor's cat was sitting right above him. And I thought that was kind of comical. <laughs> him looking for wildlife and it just happens to be a domestic cat. Well, we can call him a wild cat for the sake of the story. And also I've done this crocodile and that's what I just showed y'all. But there's other things in this book that I would love to make. And let me see if I can, I should have marked pages to the center page that shows you everything, all of the makes in one page. I was going to do that, and then I decided, well, I'm just going to jump down right quick. <laughs> jump in this chair right quick and share with y'all my Ami Gurumi books. But there's other things in here that I would like to make. Oh, 
I got to show y'all this little pig. This little pig is, um, I've got pig parts <laughs> for this little guy in a project bag. I started making it, um, coming back from travel and I think I have one leg to do and arms and then I just didn't finish it. So I'm going to have to go get my pig parts out of my project bag and finish this little guy. His name is Pedro Vondito Pig, but there's other little creatures here. Now he wants a blue dragon. I don't know if I'm gonna make him this dragon or if I'm gonna do one or do Robins from Naughty Hook plushy dragon. But I did try to do this unicorn and it was really fiddly, The trying to do the center for the, for the legs at the time, a couple years ago, you know, starting out with Ami Groomy, it was just too fiddly. I put it to the side. So I do have a head, but not the body. I may pick it back up. I don't know. But um, looking at it, I do like this little donkey. And I think doing that shawl will be a little challenging for me, but also a great learning experience. I hope y'all can hear me while I have the book in front of my face. But there's also a panda. I know I told y'all my granddaughter wants a panda for Christmas. So it has all the things that I can make for my grands. It has a dragon, it has a panda, it has an alligator. But also, I mean, so many makes I wanna make in here. Just adorable. And also, not only do I have Animal Friends of Pika Pal 1, <laughs> I have two, dos, and three. <laughs> so let's look at number two and see what I've made out of number two. I have made the lobster, also known as Clarence the Crawfish. And let's see, I think I've made, oh yeah, I've made some things out of this one too. I've enjoyed making um, projects out of this book. And I find with each one that I make, I, I learn something new, um, whether it's a technique or, or it's done a different way that I'm, I've never done before. So they can be a little, They she does have some intermediate patterns, some beginner patterns. She does have some, you know, she has a level of difficulty marked on the pattern on the page. Okay, here we go. So I've done this little turtle for my grandson. It's fun, easy make. I've done, I don't think this was the raccoon I did. I did my daughter a raccoon, but I don't think it was from this pattern. I did, let's see. I've done the crawfish or lobster. I really learned a new technique working those elbows. Um, it was fun to do. And then once you're finished, you're like, oh, I did it. I think that's all I've made out of this book was the turtle and the, the lobster. But as you can see, there's so many more adorable mates that I would love to make. The elephant, the monkey. Um, what else stood out to me? Well, they all stand out to me. And they are all, the little sloth is adorable with its beanie. So that was Friends, Animal Friends of Pika Pal book number two. I'm going to set these here. <laughs> I, I figured they would be too heavy for my desk, so I have books all around me. So I also have Animal Friends of Pika Pal 3. Oh my goodness. Can you get any cuter? Look at that chicken. I want to do the chicken. I want to do the bear. So let me see. What have I done out of this book? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've done, I think I've only done one project out of this book and I did, <laughs> I call him Nuts, Nuts the Squirrel. He's so cute. His real name is not Nuts. His real name is Angus Squirrel and he's right back here looking all cute and stuff. 
I don't think I've done anything else out of this book. A lot of cute projects. Um, just adorable. And like I said, once I started going through the books, I just want to make them all. And I might do that one day when I don't have to work, when I get to be retired. I'm looking forward to getting older, y'all, and retiring. So this one does have a dinosaur, but it, I think you sew in all those pieces. You just got to be a patient person. And if you like it, just be patient and enjoy the journey to the final results. That's the way I look at it sometimes. The little hippo is adorable. I did Nuts the Squirrel, a.k.a a.k.a. Angus. But yeah, so many cute makes. I just want to make them all. <laughs> so that is the Animal Friends of Pika Pal series that I have, those books. I love making them. Also, another um, set of books that I have is from Kuke. Um, Kuke, I think, was probably the first Ami Gurumi book that I bought when I started doing Ami Gurumi, um, before I started doing plushies. Yeah, before I started doing plushies. So, the first one, this is probably the very first Ami Gurumi that I book, book that I bought, Sweet Crochet Friends. And this is such a great book if you want to take that step to doing a little bit more detail work. Um, I did this koala. Well, first I did this little cat and he was okay. Um, he's kind of holy and he wasn't um, perfect, but he was still cute and I finished it. And then the little koala, at first I'm like, I was hooked. Once you start doing those little toes that turn in and he started coming together and looking like the pattern, I fell in love. So little koala, I think he'll always be with me from day one. Billy the cat, I believe that's his name. He's around here somewhere. He's stuck back up in <laughs> he's stuck back up in there. Um, I did do his little basket of fish that come with the pattern. Um, I've done the little bunny girl and I've done this little raccoon. Um, I will post pictures. Okay, put, put, <laughs> all right, note to self, put pictures of the cat. Um, the koala, I think I've already showed you that. I will definitely post pictures of the raccoon that I did for my daughter. She wanted it for, she wanted a raccoon for her birthday and she loves it. She named him Rocket. Also, I did a little bunny girl. I ended up giving her to my granddaughter. I'll post a picture of that one. And I'm also trying to see um, what else that I've done. Oh, I've also done Nana. You see her sitting up there. Nana was a very, everything in this book that I made was very, um, has, was when I first started like making, seriously doing Ami Gurumi. And Nana was so easy to make for me at the time. But I did learn a lot um, by doing different little details that Kuke adds to her pattern that give it that little extra cuteness but still um, fairly easy to make and fairly easy to understand. So I love this book. I think if you wanted to step into some more detail Ami Groomy, this would be a great book. It was a great book for me to start with. Um, you know, if you do with some more of the detail type work. So I would definitely recommend this book. It is just adorable, easy to make, but some things you will learn. So don't be afraid to learn. <laughs> I know I have a habit of looking at stuff and like, that is too hard. I don't want to do that. Or that's got too many stitches. I don't want to do that. But I've had to settle down and enjoy the process, enjoy the journey because I knew the results were going to be cute. And so here's the little cat that I did. And I did his little basket right there. Um, I can show y'all him. His name is um, Billy the Cat. Mine is a little wonky. <laughs> he 
He's not perfect by no means, but it was the journey. I enjoyed making him. And then when I finished him, it's like, I did it. And there's a little basket of fishes. So yeah, you know what? Don't give up if your project is not like the book or if it looks different than the book or you got some mess ups, it's still so cute. My grand still, they still love them. Um, but let's see, what else did I make out of this book? Let's see if there was anything else that I made. Um, I made, na oh, here's the thing. <clears throat> All right, so I did the bunny girl, the cat. There's a panda there. Um, I did the koala, I did Nana. And I think that is it. Oh, and I did the raccoon. Very, like I said, I highly recommend this book. If you're looking for a book to get started with doing Ami Gurumi and you want to actually learn, um, you know, basically Ami Gurumi is single stitches, increases and decreases. And, but it, she has a way to add those details that is very um, unique. And so I have to admit this koala, it took me forever to do the nose. I could not wrap my head around what she was trying to get at. And I put it down, picked it up and finally got it. And once I did the nose, I was, I was very pleased that I stuck with it. Um, so many cute things in here. I was, st I still would like to make the hippo. Um, I want to make the little sheep. I think the puppy dog is cute. It's all adorable. So I do have, so this is Sweet Crochet, Sweet Crochet Friends, and I also has, have Kuke's Sweet Crochet Animals. I believe this was on my Christmas list, and a sweet family member got it for me. And I'm trying to see if I did anything out of this book. What my goal has always been is try to do least one thing out of the books before I order more books and so I have some work to do some catch-up to do before I order more books and let me find that center page that has all the makes on it there it is right in the front so looking at this I made this ballerina cat for my daughter for her birthday she just loved it also made the little chipmunk, not the chip, hamster. Chibi the hamster, I made him. And I'm not sure where Chibi's at. <laughs> Let's see. Oh goodness, oh, he's back there. He's back there hiding behind the spool of thread. I also do have videos where I talked about each one of these that I've made and what I used to make them with. But there's other things in this book I would like to make that are just adorable. Um, these little bunnies are cute. The little cow, just precious. So I do like Kuke, Yon Shankle uh, from Animal Friends of Pika Pow. I also have another favorite and her name is Arena Lee and I picked up this book, Ami Gurumi Treasures. This is the first book that she has out, I believe. And I made Ming the little cat, which was adorable. Um, she was a process to make, but fairly easy make. I did this at the early stages of my Ami Gurumi making. <laughs> um, she was a, a beginner, somewhat a beginner for me. Like I said, I learn with each one. I think that's the only one I've made out of this book is Ming the Cat. But as you can see, a bunch of other cuties. Look at that. That is so cute. So uh, some other things that catch my that caught my eye. There's all of them, y'all. Was this um little aviator bee? Let me see if I can find her. So this is another book that I would recommend. Um, you're gonna learn. 
Don't be afraid to learn. Don't be afraid to mess up. But if you want those just one of a kind, unique makes with details, this is another good one. And both all of these books, both of these books, they have instructions at the beginning on how to do certain stitches, um, what yarn they use, what hook they use, and very informative. Not only do you get the patterns and the instructions on how to create it, you also get um, information and QR codes to show you how to do these different stitches. So no excuse, y'all. Um, here it is, the little aviator bee. Isn't that adorable? Her name is Lottie the Ladybug. So that's Ami Grimmy Treasures 1 and 2. And I did this little mouse um, during um, Helen's Mouse Makes podcast. I'll leave that link down below or leave the title if I did not get that right. But she turned out adorable. Just so cute. And like I said, this is a great book. A great artist. She also has some free patterns, I believe. If you go on her Instagram and then hit the link in her bio, she does have some free patterns that are just as cute as the ones that she has in the book. I think she does Noel the Mouse. I believe that's the one. I have yet to make it. But if you just want to try try it out, try the artist techniques or the way that she does things. If you just want to try it out before you buy the book, I believe I do believe she has some free patterns on her website. And so a bunch of other cute makes, y'all. Look how adorable. Yes, I want to make them all, especially this right here. I think that's the elephant with the little hat. Um, the little beaver. Just adorable. A blue dragon. Um, <laughs> it just makes you smile. It makes me say, oh, I want to do them all. Uh, let's see. Where was the little mouse? I mean, the little elephant with the hat. <gasps> Benedict the Shrew. Just for the outfit alone, it's adorable. I thought I saw the little elephant dude right back here. I'm gonna have to watch my time. I may have to pick this back up later. And anyway, so many cute makes. Yes, I do wanna make them all. Here we go. This Doki the elephant. Just look at that hat and a bow tie. How can you not do an elephant with a bow tie and a hat? Adorable. And then I had to get Enchanted Woodland Ami Groomy by Rena Lee. I've yet to make anything out of this book. I was so excited when it came out last year and I was in between markets and I haven't got to make anything out of this book yet, but I am so looking forward to making something from this book because I enjoy the artist, the way that she puts things together, just very talented. And I'll just look through right quick. I'll show y'all <laughs> the different little ones. And let's see. Just going to thumb through right quick. So it is Ami Groomy. It's forest, fairies, and 15 forest fairies and friends. It's just adorable. Heidi the Star Fairy. That would be great for a nursery. Of course, I would do embroidery eyes. And, oh, here's all the little fairies. Can you see them? Yeah. So, another book I look forward to working out of. So, stay tuned. All right, y'all. I need to check my time. Yep. I have to go. I do have more books to share with y'all, so hopefully I can get back on this afternoon when I get back from work. Y'all, this work thing's messing up with my, my crochet time, but 
I'm thankful to have a job, thankful to have the help to be able to get out and work. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.